Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm getting ready to start on my next project. Uh, quite a few years ago, I did a uh, haunted pirate ship theme for my boys' elementary school, and in the captain's quarters, I had a pipe organ that I built out of foam board and poo noodles. I'm going to show a quick picture of that right now. As you can see in the picture, it's essentially, it's just like I used the poo noodles for essentially the pipe organ portion, painted them gold with a little bit of black and that kind of stuff, and obviously the three-quarter wall board was on the bottom for the main base and all that stuff and I painted the keys on there with just some white and black paint uh, I you know I've since then obviously gotten rid of this prop so but I found another uh, spot in my display that I'm going to be doing this year that I like to actually have that prop back so I'm going to essentially build another one of those props and I'm going to take you on my little uh, journey of building this prop again so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started Well, it looks like we got ourselves an antique pipe organ. I'd like to say that I think this one is done. You see where I did the black, the gray, and the green on it. I was trying to go for the look of just an old, you know, pipe organ sitting in the back of an old church or, you know, something of that nature that hasn't really been played a whole lot over the years. Uh, that's kind of the look I was going for. Let me get a little closer and uh, show some of the details and kind of explain some of the stuff. You see where I did the black and grays to simulate you know dust build up did a little more in the corners to really give it that look that the dust is kind of built up in the areas that doesn't really get touched much i also did the same thing on the keys did a little bit of black a little bit of gray on them did the whole thing with the uh water with the fingers and you see where i kind of wiped on it to kind of give it the look like somebody was kind of playing it after the keys were dirty you have to leave me a comment tell me if it kind of gives that illusion that somebody's fingers were almost kind of wiping off any of the, you know, old dust and debris that was stuck on the keys. Uh, I got the greens on there. The green is supposed to kind of simulate that if uh, this is an old brass or copper, you know, tubes that, you know, they get a little bit of tarnish due to moisture, condensation, you know, that kind of stuff. The black is for if, say, you, know, you got a bunch of dust and dirt and stuff like that that is accumulated at the bottom of the tube. So obviously once they go to play it and that air bursts through the, uh, the pipe you know to make the sound 
that's going to blow all that dirt and dust out. Well, it's going to obviously probably stick to any adjacent tube. So that's kind of what I kind of did there with the black you see there. That's what that was for. The last step I did after I did all that is because when you use a sprayer, you will always get overspray and it'll kind of look like you put on too much. So I just took a wet paper towel and just literally wiped the entire surface off to take off any excess oversprays. So it kind of, you know, makes it so it doesn't look so like you put too much on there. It actually, you know, brings it back to kind of where you want it to be. But all in all, I think this one came out pretty good. You have to leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.